We are covering PL300 Microsoft Power BI Data Analyst. Our team is working hard to keep the content up to date. If you find this video helpful, please let us know in the comments. We really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel. To get the complete list of questions and answers, click on the playlist link provided in the description. Our question is, you have a column named Uni TSLN stock as shown in the following exhibit. See the exhibit given? Units in stock has 75 non-null values of which 51 are unique. Use the drop-down menus to select the answer choice that completes each statement based on the information presented in the graphics. When a table visual is created in a report and unit in stock is added to the values, there will be dash in the table. The options are 0 rows, 1 row, 51 rows and 75 rows. Next one, changing the summarize by setting off units in stock column and then adding the column to a table visual will dash the number of rows in the table visual. Options are maintain, reduce, increase. This is the correct answer. 75 rows from the first table and reduce from the second table. Next question, you have the Power BI report, you have the following tables, name and description, balances, the table contains daily records of closing balances for every active bank account, the closing balances appear for every day and the account is live including the last day. Date, the table contains a record per day for the calendar years of 2000 to 2025. There is a hierarchy of financial year, quarter, month and day. You have the following DAX measures. Accounts is calculate. Distinct count, last date. For each of the following statements, select yes if they are true, otherwise select no. A first statement is, a table visual that displays the date hierarchy of the year level and the accounts measure will show the total number of accounts that were live throughout the year. Second statement, the table visual that displays the date hierarchy at the month level and the accounts measure will show the total number of accounts that were live throughout the month. The third statement is the table visual that displays the date hierarchy at the day level and the accounts measure will show the total number of accounts that were live that day. This is the solution. 
we find that the first and the second statement is wrong the third statement is correct Moving to our next one, you have the table shown in the following, table name and column name, campaigns, ads and impressions. Can you read the given table? The impressions table contains approximately 30 million records per month. You need to create an ad analytics system to meet the following requirement. Present ad impression counts for the day, campaign and site name. The analytics for the last year are required. Minimize the data model size. Which two actions should you perform? To one uh, each correct answer presents a part of a solution. Option A, create one to many relationship between tables. Option B, group the impressions query in Power Query by add ID, site name and impression date. Aggregate by using count row function. Option C. Create a calculated table that contains an add ID, site name and impression date. Create a calculated measure that aggregates by using the count rows function. Correct answer is option A and B.